are diving deep into the story of Ocean Key, a once barren land on the brink of environmental disaster. Now it's a hot spot of luxury travel and an example of how we can rebuild the environment. Amidst the breathtaking beaches and swaying palm trees lies a remarkable tale of change and eco-consciousness. Our ABC's Inez De La Catera takes a look at this tropical transformation. It may look like paradise. White sand beaches, swaying palm trees. That's beautiful. And the bluest waters you've ever seen. Under the sea, thriving endangered reefs and a lush marine ecosystem. But Ocean Key wasn't always like this. After years of sand mining, the Bahamian island had become a wasteland. Until MSC, one of the world's biggest cruise and cargo ship operators, and the MSC Foundation spent half a billion dollars to rehabilitate the island, transforming the site into a nature preserve for their cruise ship guests to enjoy. Workers spent months pulling out all the metal, derelict machinery, and debris left behind. The project is the brainchild of MSC's executive chairman, Pier Francesco Vago. This is something that has never been done before. My dream was not only to transform an island or to create a destination, but was to actually have an impact that was environmentally correct. Owen O'Shea leads the MSC Foundation's marine project on the island. He shows us the coral trees they're using to help rebuild the reefs because the crown jewel of their restoration efforts actually lies beneath the surface. An estimated 25% of all marine life depends on coral reefs. But scientists estimate up to 90% of global reefs could be lost by 2030 due to global warming, pollution, and overfishing. What we're doing is selecting for the corals that are still thriving in the face of these challenges. Their efforts now being celebrated by oceanographers around the world, with Mission Blue, an alliance of ocean conservation groups, designating Ocean Key as a hope spot. And certainly, Ocean Key is one example where already there is improvement because of actions, the interventions by by MSC. It's recognition that's not typically associated with the cruise and shipping industry, often slammed by conservation groups as a catastrophe for the planet. According to a recent study published in the Marine Pollution Bulletin, a large cruise ship can have a carbon footprint greater than 12,000 cars. Every vessel powered by fossil fuels is making a contribution to the warming of the planet. And the cruise lines, along with everybody else, you know, they're part of, of it. That's one of the cruise ships down there. You can see how massive it is. More than 5,000 passengers on board, and they come here seven days a week. In its cruise ship report card, the NGO Friends of the Earth giving MSC and other cruise companies failing marks when it comes to protecting the environment. MSC telling us in a statement, the cruise industry as a whole has committed to net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050. Achieving our environmental targets is not something that the industry can do alone. We need governments, ports and destinations, fuel suppliers, shipyards, regulators and suppliers to continue to collaborate together. I think the big question is why? You know, why is MSE doing this? This is a company that has, you know, made its name building ships and embracing our, our oceans. So it's very fitting that they would invest so heavily in projects and restoration efforts to promote that idea of of reversing declines. This as research and polling shows consumers are demanding corporations take responsibility for the environmental impact of their business actions. I think they should do yeah uh, especially like a big company like like this one I think they they should do that. So that way it helps keep the Ocean's really nice and all the marine life really nice. So in order for us to keep enjoying it, if they can keep on to that, then I feel like it's important, yeah. MSC's hope is that their Ocean Key Island will raise awareness and inspire others, both people and corporations, to take action. And it's so cliche, but what's that saying? One man's trash is another man's treasure. That's right. Ah, and it makes you want a, a little uh, drink with an umbrella yeah, in it, too. Just a little Maybe, just maybe a little. two. Yeah, <laughs> why not?